so. How bad is it? It's not looking good, sir. You were photographed leaving the restaurant with a Linda Clapp. So? Miss Clapp turns out to be a member of the oldest profession. She's a plumber? No, sir. A hooker. Oh. Well, what are we going to do? We need a distraction. Great. Are we getting a DVD or are we going bowling? We're going to Ireland, sir. Ireland? It's in Europe. And with the help of some of Hollywood's finest screenwriters, we've made you more Irish than Bing Crosby. You'll need to familiarize yourself with this. Killin a Scully. Cool. That's not my office. No, sir. Who let the dog out? Who let the dog out? Excuse me, sir. Miss Boss, can you tell me the quickest way to get to kill in a scully? In the scully? You're walking or driving, sir? Driving. Oh, that would definitely be the quickest way. If people don't mind, we might kick off with a short prayer, huh? Certainly, that are. <laughs> Lord, thanks for sending us, in a manner of speaking, uh, a guardian angel in the person of President Madison and his extensive entourage with their liberal expense accounts. Not to mention the attending media attendants, the publicity generators, and the subsequent bed nights anticipated, especially with the low visitor count uh, over the previous years. Amen. Amen. Now, fellow Killers Gullians, I have three words for ye here tonight. Preparation. Preparation, preparation. <laughs> What's it this time, Larry? That's one word. Is that right? <laughs> well, I repeated it three times for the purpose of emphasization. But that's typical you, isn't it, Larry Cummins? Coming in here on election year and trying to make a political football out of the proposed presidential visit by the US President of the United States. I think is absolutely disgusting, and, and I call here and now, through the chair, that you, Larry Cummins, retract those scurrilous accusations. Sorry. Now, if we can get on with the agenda at hand, Reverend Feather, sorry about that. Thanks, Willie. <clears throat> the welcoming committee is under the joint chairmanship of myself. and Councillor Willie Power. The all-important Security Committee will be headed up by Sergeant O'Toole and Councillor Willie Power. Decorations Committee uh, will be chaired by Dieter and Willie Power. <laughs> uh, sorry, fellow, you forgot one committee, uh, the Clean-Up Committee, which will be chaired by Larry Cummins. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, Larry, we'll expect a better job than the one after the Tidy Town Parade. It was a feckin' disgrace. Kinder Scully is where his ancestors are from. And he'll be the sixth American president to visit Ireland when he arrives here in six days' time. And which one of the Madisons would he be now? Well, it says here he's a great, great, great grandson of Mickey Madison. Would he have been one of the Madisons of Rath Manor? No, they were Americans. There was only ever one family of Madisons from around here, and none of them ever went to America. Come here. Didn't you meet JFK? Oh, we got it, did you? Go away. Wait to hear this. He tells this lovely. Well, it was a cousin of mine, a guard in Washington. Bunty Costello. Bunty Costello. Or Lieutenant Bunty Costello, to give him his proper title, God be good to him. Well, Bunty sent over a few bobs so the sister Bridie and myself could go over and have a look at the place. What place? Washington, you loser, you. <laughs> Well, lads, you never seen the likes of it for chaos. Oh, Cadillacs, Eldorados, Buicks, Pontiacs. Well, I was visiting Bunty on the job, and he was stationed in a little hut around the side of the White House. Oh, barely enough room for the two of us in the place. Well, it looks bigger on the telly. The hut, you eejit. <laughs> eejit. <laughs> and this big black car pulled up. Oh, big long york stretching halfway into the middle of next week. And the window rolled down. And who's in the back of it only? JFK. JFK. How are you, Bunty? says he. How are you, Jack? says Bunty. I stuck the hand in straight away. I'm Dan, says I. Not Dan Clancy, says he. 
Oh, the very man says, eh? Well, says he, it's not the way Bunty ever doesn't shut up talking about you. Go away. Was he on his own? This is the best bit. He tells this lovely. The sister was in the back of the cab beside him. Which one? Is it Scatter at the minute? Marilyn, he said her name was. Blondie, strong, butty type of a girl. Some people, says Jack, look at what is and ask why. He turned around to the sister and he says, I look at what isn't and ask why him. not? Why not? I thought that was good. Because it was. I was going straight down, Spuds. <laughs> Tell us, Timmy, where were you when JFK was shot? Feck off. I told you before, I had nothing to do with it. I was only two and a half at the time. Oh, hello. Hello, ma'am. Ooh, we've a live one here. <laughs> Come on, girl. Operation Safe Eagle. Safe Eagle. You can't write it down. Why not? It's a code word. It's supposed to be a secret. Supposedly the notebook fell into the wrong hands. Make him eat it. Huh? Make him eat the notebook like they do in the films. As you know, Garda Ryan is away and lured with the Garda band. So we're a bit short-handed here. That's why I had to ask you all to be part of the presidential security detail. I would be glad to help. Good man, Dieter. There will be a bit of gas anyway, huh? When duty doth call, each man will stand or fall. Kipling? No, no, Symington. No, no, Kipling? No, thanks, Louis. When are we watching In the Line of Fire? In a minute, Father. But first, these are the four of ye. I bags be Roy Keane. And this is the presidential car. Now, of course, it won't be made out of tough. No, 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 that would not be bulletproof. It'll be warm, though. Many American presidents are there. There's only the one, Jaxie. This is Zachary Taylor Madison fella. I mean, all together from the start. Uh, seven or eight at least. Ah, uh, more than that. Forty-four. Go away. Forty-four? That many? Yeah, well, you George Washington, he was the first. Then you had John Adams, followed by Thomas Jefferson. Then you had James Madison, followed by James Monroe. How many is that? Five. Well, John Quincy Adams is number six. Secret Service? That's what he said. I'm Randy. Oh, fair enough. Randy Hanson. Agent Randy Hanson. And you are? A little bit insulted, to be honest. Really? Really. There's no need for your crowd. We have a first-class team here. Well-trained, motivated. Operation Safe Eagle. That's a secret. Then why was this on the door? Sure, how well, sir? They're going to know about it. That's classified. Okay. Have you any EOD units? EOD? Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Sure, we'd have no use for that around here. Then what about airspace management capacity? I asked about the helicopter, but the subaqua lads are using that. Subaqua? They're going to Chelten a minute for the weekend. Have you even got any sniffer dogs? Well, there's the commissioner. The commissioner? That's the commissioner. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming command as of zero hundred Zulu time. Right. Now, when might that be? Midnight. Right. Any questions? Could I interest you in a clock radio? No. Well, how much do you want for the magnifying glass? Uh, Sixty euro. Done. No. Okay, everybody out, we're shutting this place down. How long is this going to run for? That's classified. After him, you had Abraham Lincoln, 1861 to 1865. That was when he was shot. Where's this he was shot? In the back of the head. 
That must have hurt. I need this job to see like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Will you have a drink there, Jaxie? Drink? At a time like this? I'm off to see Willie Power. Something has to be done. He's right. Have you tried the Slurpin Burger? I just got it in. I got it from the Weiss squad. <laughs> <laughs> What you have there? What'll you take for it? It's not for sale. Fair enough. Here, what'll I have you? Have a look at this. Put out your left hand. Put out your left hand. Now, make a fist. Now tap your head three times. Oh, this is crazy. I go on. Go on. Now blow on your fist. <laughs> Isn't working. I can still feel it in my hand. I haven't said the magic words yet. Oh, of course you haven't. Shambuli, shambuli, balenti. You see? Yeah. But wouldn't it have been great if it did work? Hey, look, no, I really don't have time. Here, that's yours, boss. I've seen that on the telly. Good luck, boss! Then we Dwight David Eisenhower. After that, you John Fitzgerald Kennedy. I need this job to see like I need a hole in the head. <sighs> Lyndon Johnson. Then you had Nixon. Who was it we had after that? Princeton Madison. No, well, not at him yet. No, he's on the telly. Wish. Turn it up, Dixie. Charlie Burke, RTE. What can you tell us about your Irish great great grandfather? For a start, he was my great 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 grandfather. Greatness runs in our family. Mickey Madison was an Irish patriot, philanthropist, musician, and champion wrestler and i just can't wait to visit with you folks over there in the united kingdom of ireland there's something about that fella i just don't trust seems fine to me a president would never lie would he <laughs> you're clean oh stop it <laughs> would you like to take down my particulars we have everyone's details man I'll see you back at the B&B, Freddy. Don't be too late. Freddy, who's in charge here? I am Agent Randy Hanson. I'm Councillor Willie Power, Chairman of the Killer Scully Visitors. And Convention Bureau, politician, businessman, interest in real estate. One conviction for the obstruction of a tribunal. Uh, it wasn't so much a tribunal as more of a Stuart's inquiry. <laughs> So that's all done and dusted. Look, don't get me wrong. But we're all delighted the president has come. Let me stop you there. Handsome. Two minutes. You were saying? Look, what you're doing here is not necessary. We have a series of committees set up to oversee every aspect of the forthcoming visit. Yeah, so you were saying? We have in situ, so to speak, a series of wide range of committees. We appreciate your input, Mr. Power. However, I've got some surfaced air missiles arriving around now. Jenny, could you show these gentlemen to the PVLLO? PVLLO? Is that a tractor, Willie? Yeah. PVLLO? Presidential visit local liaison officer. How can I help you, gentlemen? Larry Cummins. Mm -hmm. You collaborating, snivelling little sh... Andy. Even Jackson, come on. She has a plate in her head, you know. What sort of a plate? A metal plate. Tio, can we not get back to the agenda at hand? Yes, but every time she goes through the metal detector, it lights up like a Christmas tree. Her head? Uh, oh, the metal detector, and it beeps, and that's far too much excitement for a woman of 88. Any other grievances? Mr. Chairman. The chair recognizes Mrs. Gilhooley. I should hope so, Mr. Power. We've known each other since junior infancy. Oh, I hope she doesn't expect him to remember back that far. <laughs> What have you to say, Mrs. Gilhooley? I am not 
in the habit of repeating myself. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They're after erecting, erecting, Mr. Power, a satellite dish contraption on the roof of the church. The church, Mr. Power, God's house. What would God want with a satellite dish? Sure, how do I know, Mrs. Gilluli? I don't care who's coming. It'll have to come down. <laughs> Through the chair. Yes, Theo. One cannot swing a cat without hitting a security man of some description. And our poor power walkers can hardly cross the road without being manhandled. I've said it here above in the hall, ladies and gentlemen, only five days ago, that the forthcoming presidential visit is the worst thing that has happened killing the Scully since the famine back in years ago. Uh, Mr. Chairman, might I suggest a petition? Don't mind your petition. What we need here is dot. Hi. Fuck you. What do you mean, fuck you? Fuck you, boss. What? Fuck into the queue, boss. <laughs> Larry wouldn't understand plain English. That was a medley of slipknot tunes. Thank you very much. Don't spoil it from Mama now! Don't spoil it from Mama! Tell him, Joy, if there was no way, it wouldn't mean the birth to him. That's true. Told you. If there's a shower worse than the black and tans, that shower out from Limerick. Boy, the kids. All right, bud. I never knew you were out. Hello, the barracks in. I'll just check. Dan, are you in? Who is it? Willie Powell. I'll take it in the lounge. Hang on a sec, Willie. I can, I can barely hear you, Willie. Dirt. What class of dirt? Any class of dirt. Once it's about the president's great, great, great grandfather, this Mickey Madison fella. Fair enough. Yes, <laughs> Dan. There isn't a family in the country that you don't know the ins and outs of. Right, I'll have a look around. Good man. What in the name of God? Hold it down, man. Hold it down. We'll let the guards in on us like a ton of bricks. I'd say, Randy, it must be hard. What? Being away from home so much. You get used to it. But what about your wife? Wife? Yes, she must miss you being away. Well, I guess if she gave a rat's ass, she wouldn't have divorced me. Hmm. So, is there a significant other? You bet your ass there is. Oh? Mandy. Mandy and Randy. <laughs> you want to see a picture? I suppose. What do you think? She's big. Yeah, you betcha. 0.5 V8 liter turbocharged engine. Infrared virtual imaging projected on a heads-up display. I mean, how cool is that? Lovely. God, I miss her. I'll put the kettle on. Did you that? Yeah. Well, looks like the president's in for a bit of a shock. Turns out this Mickey Madison fella was a sheep stealer, cattle rustler, alcoholic. And an awful man for the... How's your father? The what? He was like a small jockey with a big whip. He's cruel to animals? No, he's, he's like a, an awful man for the you know what. What was it then, drugs? No, he was an awful man for the women. Oh. You could throw a cap over any ditch around these parts to land on one of his children. And not a marriage cert was ever known. Good man to Dan. Or gets better. He took the soup. Your Honor. Yes, Eddie, yeah. Two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Yeah, lovely. Two, two, one, two, two. Two, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yourself? We, we were talking about soup. Soup? Yeah, he, he took the soup. The, the president's ancestors took the soup. Um, what soup? The Protestant soup. There's Protestant soup? And Mickey Madison took it, and in doing so, he jumped ship, changed religion, went to the other side, like, and offered a cup of our soup. Man, Willie. Well, what flavor of soup was it? So how the hell do I know? So this was shown the famine. So can we, like, um, rule out potato soup? Look it. All I know is this, that the president's ancestors took the soup. But maybe he was hungry. Well, maybe he was, God help us. But when the potatoes were rotten in the fields, you could traipse the length and breadth of this country and you wouldn't find so much as a packet of chipsticks or, or, or potatoes or, or hula hoops. So my own great, great, great granddad ate her nephew. She didn't change her face. And when the people of this country were, 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 were fighting, starving and dying for Ireland, uh, some to, even to the point of death, where was Mickey Madison? Slurping the Protestant soup. So you can write this in your notebook. There's no welcome here for presidential soup sloppers. Read my lips. The invitation to President Zachary Taylor Madison is hereby withdrew. Yeah. But, but you never invited him here in the first place. Exactly. What kind of a man invites himself to another man's country? A soup slopper, that's you. What evidence have you guys got? Lovely, we, we, we'll have to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you very much, we're out of time. No, you never answered my question. Yeah, I, I'd love to answer your question, but we, we, we have a funeral arriving here in a few minutes. Isn't that right, Father? Mr. Power. Is, isn't that right, Father? Mr. Power. For the funeral. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Thank, thank you all very much. Thank, thank you all. Thank Mr. you very much. Power. Mr. Power. Son of a bitch. I thought all this Mickey Madison malarkey was made up. It was made up, sir. Who'd have thought there'd be a real Mickey Madison? Not you, obviously. No, sir. You know where I'm meant to be right now? A village people convention? My ranch. But here I am, linked with some two-bit soup slurperer. We've worked out a strategy, sir. Where the hell am I from this time? You'll need to read this, sir. <laughs> The first one to snigger loses 50 bucks. Yes, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you something here now tonight. This day will go down in history as the week that a little village brought down a superpower to its knees. <laughs> and I'd just like here now tonight at this juncture to propose a toast to Dan Clever. Hey, too bad, Dan. Too bad, Dan. Oh, no, thank for Dan. How did you know, Mr. Dan, where to find the truth about the President's ancestors? Well, these are... I found it in the same place you find the truth about everything around here. Where is that? I made it up. <laughs> hey! Hey! Willie's on the telly! There's no welcome here for presidential soup slumbers. Read my lips. The invitation to President Zachary Taylor Madison is hereby withdrew. Hey! Norwegian village of Scotland on a hastily organized trip to visit the homeland of his great-great-grandmother. I can't tell you how great it is to finally visit with you folks here in Norwegia. <laughs> My great-great-grandmother was, it seems, from Scandinavia, which of course is near here. To commemorize her, the Madison Family Trust is giving the local community here in Scullyfjord eleven million dollars. <laughs> How much is that in euros? <laughs> well, it looks bigger on the telly. The hot you eat it. And this big black car pulled up. Oh, big long york stretching halfway into the middle of next week. And the window rolled down. And who's in the back of it only? JFK. JFK. How are you, Bunty? Says he. How are you, Jack? Says Bunty. I stuck the hand in straight away. I'm Dan, says I. Not Dan Clancy, says he. Oh, the very man, says I. Well, says he, it is not the way Bunty ever doesn't shut up talking about you. Go away. Was he on his own? This is the best bit. He tells this lovely. The sister was in the back of the cab beside him. Which one? Is the scatter of the minute? Marilyn, he said her name was. Blondie, strong, butty type of a girl. Some people, says Jack, look at what is and ask why. He turned around to the sister and he says, I look at what isn't and ask why me. not? Why not? I thought that was good. Because it was. 
I was going straight down, Spuds. <laughs> Tell us, Timmy. Where were you in disgrace? Kinder Scully is where his ancestors are from. And he'll be the sixth American president to visit Ireland when he arrives here in six days' time. And which one of the Madisons would he be now? Well, it says here he's a great, great, great grandson of Mickey Madison. Would he have been one of the Madisons of Rath Manor? No, they were Madigans. There was only ever one family of Madisons from around here, and none of them ever went to America. Come here. Didn't you meet JFK? Oh, we got a did, Jeff. Go away. Wait till you hear this. He tells this lovely. Well, there was a cousin of mine, a guard in Washington. Bunty Costello. Bunty Costello. Our Lieutenant Bunty Costello, to give him his proper title, got be good to him. Well, Bunty sent over a few bobs so the sister Bridie and myself could go over and have a look at the place. What place? Washington, you loser, yeah. <laughs> well, lads, you never seen the likes of it for cares. Oh, Cadillacs, Eldorados, Buicks, Pontiacs. Well, I was visiting Bunty on the job, and he was stationed in a little hut around the side of the White House. Oh, barely enough room for the two of them. Ah, let's leave it a quick way. If people don't mind, we might kick off with a short prayer, huh? Certainly, Vera. Lord, thanks for sending us, in a manner of speaking, uh, a captain angel in the person of President Madison and his extensive entourage with their liberal expense accounts. Not to mention the attending media attendants, the publicity generators, and the subsequent bed nights anticipators especially with the low visitor count uh, over the previous years. Amen. Amen. Now, fellow Killers Gullians, I have three words for ye here tonight. Preparation, preparation, preparation. <laughs> What's it this time, Larry? That's one word. Is that right? <laughs> Well, I repeated it three times for the purpose of emphasization. But that's typical you, isn't it, Larry Cummins? Coming in here. So, how bad is it? It's not looking good, sir. You were photographed leaving the restaurant with a Linda Clapp. So? Miss Clapp turns out to be a member of the oldest profession. She's a plumber? No, sir. A hooker. Oh. Well, what are we going to do? We need a distraction. Great. Are we getting a DVD, or are we going bowling? We're going to Ireland, sir. Ireland? It's in Europe. And with the help of some of Hollywood's finest screenwriters, we've made you more Irish than Bing Crosby. You'll need to familiarize yourself with this. Killin a Scully. Cool. That's not my office. No, sir. Who let the dog out? Who let the dog out? Excuse me, sir. Yes, boss. Can you tell me the quickest way to get to kill in a scully? In the scully? You're walking or driving, sir? Driving. I don't... Here, on election year, and trying to make a political football out of the proposed presidential visit by the U.S. President of the United States. I think is absolutely disgusting, and, and I call here and now, through the chair, that you, Larry Cummins, retract those scurrilous accusations. Sorry. Now, if we could get on with the agenda at hand, Reverend Farrer, sorry about that. Thanks, Willie. <clears throat> the welcoming committee is under the joint chairmanship of myself. And Councillor Willie Power. The all important security committee will be headed up by Sergeant O'Toole. And Councillor Willie Power. Decorations committee uh, will be chaired by Dieter and Willie Power. <laughs> uh, sorry, fellow, you forgot one committee, uh, the Clean Up Committee, which will be chaired by Larry Cummins. If you don't mind me saying, Larry, we'll expect a better job than the one after the Tidy Town Parade. It was a thick and